What's going on, people? This is 279. For those of you that don't know, I work at Choice FM and I do their hip-hop show and I've been doing it for a minute. The reason I'm here talking to you is because UKHH.com, we're going to be connecting. And what that means is, the people that I have around me, the people I have on my show, the people that come to visit the radio show, we're going to sit them down and we're going to have a straight-to-the-point conversation. Not that BS industry stuff that happens where people give you these glossed over answers, but the one where you actually get to find stuff out. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a pop situation. We're talking some real hip hop ish. Do you understand me? So look out for some episodes coming your way real soon. Anybody that comes up, it has to be nice because we ain't got no time for the bullshit. It's time that we put hip hop back on the map the way it's supposed to be. You know, the commercial cats, it's all cool, but that's not what we're about. We're straight to the point, do you understand? And that's the name of the show, so watch out. In fact, I'll let you into a little secret. The first person that's agreed to come and sit down and talk to me right here is none other than Mr. Papoose. So watch out for episode one. All right, people, 2013. I promise you some exciting episodes, right? I made you a promise that the very first person we were gonna to speak to was gonna be the forward rhyming, backward rhyming guy they call Papoose, one of my long time homies. Say what's up. UKHH.com, what's going on? What's up to my brother right here, man? We, yeah. go, we go way back, we man. We do, man. For real, man. This, this like, this is, this is a guy, when I first heard him, I'm like, this guy is ridiculous. To be honest, to the hip hop industry, I'm upset with you. And I'll tell you why. Because you guys would rather put on some whack rappers that ain't got no bars and put on someone who spits some real shit. And I don't understand that, Papoose. And if I don't understand it, that shit must be frustrating to you. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, it's some people, they just, they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, people like us, we survivors, man. We make our way regardless. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And no that's doubt. what I'm doing. That's, I'm glad to come to the UK and see that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I got this album coming out March 5th. Man, we're going to make history. And everybody that's sleeping, we're going to wake them up. We're going to wake them up out the graveyard. We're gonna, we're gonna make history. All right, now, tell them the name of the album because some people might have known it, forgotten about it, and they might need reminded. Mm -hmm. And you better explain to them why it's cool yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, I get excited when we talk about the album. Yeah. The name of the album is The Nasarima Dream. Nasarima is the word American spelled backwards. That's the title of the album. And it's been a long time coming, and I'm glad to be live over here in the UK, you know what I'm saying, with, with my homie. 279 announcing to y'all that the album finally has a release date, official tissue, a release date, which is on my born day, the day I was born, March 5th. Wow. Now, I know you came to the UK, how many years ago? Four or five years ago? Yeah, it was. And we were up in BMG, mm -hmm. you know, you grace us by playing us a couple songs on the album. Mm -hmm. What, what's happened to the original project in all of those years? Have you switched it up a bit? Have you changed some stuff? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, well, basically, man, the album is a body of work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the, the, the brain, the heart, the major organs are still the same. I just had to change a couple of the outskirts just to update it. Right. But the concept remains the same because this album is the story of my life. And it's just it's the, just the concept and the story of my country also. You know what I'm saying? Where I was born and raised at. So, you know. To answer your question, I had to make a couple changes, but the concept and the core of that album is the same. Okay. Now, speaking of changes, the single's got Movado. I've got to be honest, Pat, if you told me that my first single would have Movado on it five years mm -hmm. ago, I wouldn't have believed you. Mm -hmm. So, you got to explain <laughs> to me how that happens, man. Yeah, man. Big up to Movado. Big up to the whole gully side, man. Um, more or less, you know, I, I got the track and I, I listened to it, you know what I'm saying, and... um. When I recorded my vocals, I sat back and I said, yo, nobody that can kill us other than Mavado. Because mm. Mavado has that generosity and that sincereness. Yeah. You can hear no it in, that he means what he's saying. Mm. He really living that. So I just needed him on the record, man. And um, I reached out and Real recognized Real, man, from a mile away. He, he did it like that. He got it done. I went in the studio. Um, when I got the record done, you know, I put it out there and the reaction was crazy. I said, we got to do the video. I flew to Jamaica, man, and went to Kingston, and I had one of the greatest times I ever had, man, out there, man. My body looking like a king out there, man. We got some, some incredible shots. You know, we went to, like, to the beach. We went to Kingston in the hood, interacting with the people. You know what I'm saying? You just got to check the video out, man. It's, it's, it's a dope video, man, and shout out to Vivo, YouTube, 
everybody on there supporting, you know, right now, it's, it's crazy. Shout out to BET back in the States. They premiered the video today. You know mm. what I'm saying? And shout out to y'all for having me, man. Come on, man. You know we got to have Papoose on shows like this, man. I'm tired of these cornball rappers. <laughs> I'm just being honest, man. Oh, I'm man. I'm just being honest. Cause, Tell me about Come on, you know when you're a DJ and you got to wait for like six albums, six years, sorry, for an mm. album to come? That's a long time, man. Yeah, And, yeah. you know... It hurts, man. I know we spoke about this before, yeah, yeah, man. Nah, nah, I, I, nah, I, we, like, we, nothing we more did, than man. to see Pat be on top, man. But you know just... something, bro? Everything happened for a reason, man. And I feel like now is the time when it was meant to happen because I got my own label. Mm -hmm. I'm not a slave to no record label. I got my own distribution deal. I got my own money. I'm pushing my own material. And I don't have nobody holding me back. Nobody can stop me now. So I feel like everything that happened in the past it was meant to happen so it can happen like this and I can be an ownership of my, of my material like mm -hmm. we're supposed to be. You know, so let's talk about the, the rest of the content of the album. I know people Definitely. obviously haven't got up. To be honest, it was so long ago, like, I, mm -hmm. I can't even remember the songs that you played. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to have to kind of refresh me as well. But mm -hmm. I know it's like, it's not just a bunch of random songs. You know what I mean? It's, it's definitely conceptual. So yeah. just talk to me about it. Definitely. Um, I got a record with um, Eric Badu on the album that I feel like it's going to change the world. You know what I'm saying? Hands down. Shout That's out. a big statement, Pat. Yo, salute Eric and Badu. <laughs> That's my sister. This record is going to change the world. You know what I'm saying? With Eric and Badu. I got a record with Mob Deep on the album. You know what I'm saying? I got a record with um, DJ Premier. I got a record with uh, J.D. Kiss and Jim Jones. The rest is on me. And I got Ron Brown so I producing and he did like a chorus. Mm -hmm. It comes together incredible. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just, I'm excited. I can't wait to get it out there, man. This is the return of a real album. Remember back in the days yeah, when the album and that word meant something and it didn't yeah. just mean a bunch of bubble comes songs thrown yeah. together? This is it, the return. Let me explain it better for you. It didn't mean like one hot record and a bunch of filler. That's it, man. It meant you could put it on from track one and listen all the way through mm -hmm. and be excited to This end. is the return of a real album, not Serena Dream, on my label, Honor Before Money Records, saluted by Ingro slash Fontana. Let's get this money. All right, March 5th. March 5th, don't miss Remember it. Remember that. Don't miss it, I'm telling you. All right, now, there's a couple of things missing, Pat. One of them is you need to come on the radio show, so we're gonna have to make sure we take care of that before you get out of here. The next one is, we need to come and see you do some shows, homie. What's the deal? Yeah, yeah, man. You know, like I said, I've just been getting my business right, but now I'm ready to come out here and touch these stages again. The last time I came out here, man, I did um, like London, I did Norway, Amsterdam, Nottingham, Sweden. I mean, this was incredible when I was yeah. going on the stage. And it was a crazy experience to me because somewhere I've never been physically, people knew the words to every song. I know, and I could see that when I went to the London show. <laughs> it was like, yo, man. Yo, man, I can't wait to get back out here and perform. I'm not here for that right now. I'm just mm. here to, you know, talk Ooh, to my family like you and yeah. a couple other people. But, true talk, I'm coming back out here and do some shows. All y'all promoters, you better book me now, man, because the price of pussy goes up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. Holla at me. This album right here is what it is, man. Real hip hop is in the building, man. There you go. We don't have to say nothing more nope. apart from those of you who got a Blackberry and an iPhone. I suggest you put a reminder in there because if you sleep on it, it might be gone. You might have to wait for a while, all right? That's right. Nasrima Dream. Yes. My boy Papoose, a long time coming. If you're a classic hip hop head, if you're someone that knows about this shit proper, you know that that's, that's a project right. that you need to have. And I forgot to tell you, Alphabetical Slaughter Part 2, Z to A is on there. I only been giving you snippets. The full track is on there, and we reversed the beat from part one, so the beat is playing backwards while I'm rhyming backwards. Get the album. You need this music. It's the return of a real album. No album is touching my album this year. 2013 is the year of the true hip-hop. That's the Rima Dream. Be sure to go to iTunes slash Amazon and buy it. If you want the physical copy, that's available too. But I know this is the age of the internet, so go ahead and purchase the album, man, March 5th. Don't miss it. I can't stress it to you enough. It's going down, man. Streets, I got you. There you go. Now, alphabetical slaughter backwards is phenomenal. And it, it, uh, people watching this are going to say, come on, numbers. How comes you didn't ask him to at least do a couple of letters, man? <laughs> You're slipping on your game, 279. So that's why I've got to ask you, like, just, just don't, you can't give them all of it, though, right? Mm, nah, but just nah, a little, nah, little nah, snippet, I, I, I just so that they understand where my boy Papoose is coming from. And all you other guys that try to do the alphabetical slaughter, much as I might love some of you, there's only one alphabetical slaughter man. <laughs> and he's, he goes by the name of Papoose. So you might be able to emulate it, but see, this is why Papoose had to do it backwards, just to keep you guys guessing, all right? Go on, Pap, take it away. Which was part two. 
Let me get your snip up, yo. Zigzag zigs and Bob Wayne Zan B and Zayas. Zodiacs on the Zulu Zion Zap and Zillion Zillionaire. Yo, you, yeah. Yesterday's youth yearning your yin, your yellow belly, Yankee, yin gang, yelling yes men. XX rated, X African, X man, X leaders, X Clarence, X Malcolm, X clan, we want war. World war, worldwide warning. Walking with weapons, we whacking, walkie talkie, wearing wartons. We with whatever, what, what, rallying, wherever war went. Warlock, warpath, warfare, warriors with warrants, wasting white wine, wearing woo wear with wallabies. Why would we waste words when we weaken in wigs? Wobbly, vengeful villains, villain lies, villages, vicious. Hot pep pep, no, 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 that's too much, man. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? You know me, I don't get excited for nothing, man, but I'm telling you, I'm co signing this brother here, and I have been for a decade. I'm telling you, this guy is the truth, and I know that Thank a lot of you, you know that. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? We can't give you too much. That's just a little sample, a little snippet. For those of you that been living under a rock for the last decade that don't know yeah. about alphabetical slaughter, when you get the album, you get the backwards version. One more can I say? Straight talk, Mr. Papoos. Shout out to the UK, man. Cop the album, cop the single on iTunes featuring Movado on top of my game. Cop the album, Not Sorry My Dream. It's an album you're gonna need in your life, y'all. Peace. All right, that was episode one. Papoos, don't forget Not Sorry My Dream. March the 5th, 2013, long time coming. Watch out for Straight Talk episode two. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but you just need to pay attention so that you don't miss it. Because when we do straight talk, we talk straight. You feel me? Numbers!